Right smack in the middle of Trenton lies a gem dating back to the 1750s. Just driving by here, you may have no idea of the significance of the military history here at the old barracks. The first thing that's going to strike you is this relic from before the American Revolution, from the time of the French and Indian War, that happens to have survived in the middle of a major New Jersey city. The Old Barracks Museum is here to educate and inform you about the culture and history of Trenton in the Revolutionary War time. Dear commanding officer. So this building, it was constructed in the year 1758, built to house British soldiers. Behind me, of course, I have a soldier here of the Seven Years' War, of the French and Indian War. The five barracks that were built to house British regular soldiers, the Redcoats, dotted all through central New Jersey, from Burlington, here, New Brunswick, Perth Amboy, and Elizabethtown. Then you'll see some of the rooms where the soldiers would have spent their time. Then you'll be taken into the officer's house. So this is more for like the upper class Absolutely, folks, right? and again, it's a reflection of the officers that would be here, and to be an officer, you're a gentleman. You will see different <laughs> aspects of life that went on here. Those shops in the 18th century could produce two to three dozen pairs of shoe in a week. Wow. Those are actual period shears. These are heavy. They <laughs> are heavy. And from there, you'll be told the story of the Battle of Trenton, so jumping up to the American Revolution from there. Washington crosses the Delaware about nine miles north of here, comes down, hits this uh, outpost with about 2,400 of his own men. So it's grabbed onto by the Colonial Assembly of New Jersey as a recruiting post for the Continental Army. February of 77, the barracks goes through a major transformation, becoming a hospital, specializing in the inoculation of the Continental Army with the disease smallpox. What is the reaction when you see some of these kids come in here and they're learning all of this? The kids, you know, are fascinated. And also, those stones were really here. Those floors were walked on by those people. Some soldiers graffiti written into this original fireplace. You know, so this that physical confirmation that this stuff really happened. 